If you're wondering how to get good, clear, and crisp images out of your microscope, the key point is to ensure your sample is correctly illuminated. My name is Chiara from Motec Europe, and today I would like to show you how to adjust the illumination of your microscope to get the best image out of your device. Let's see how to do it in just a few steps. Light and filter. Switch on your microscope and adjust both the focus and light intensity of your sample to an optimal level. Then, on the filter holder, place the blue daylight filter, which is usually included in a tungsten or halogen light microscope standard packaging. This corrects the color temperature so that the yellow light projected from the tungsten or halogen bulb becomes white. Microscopes with LED illumination sources generally do not need this filter because the color temperature is already sufficiently high. Field diaphragm for microscopes with color illumination. Place the 10 times objective on the light path. Focus the sample and close the field diaphragm until it appears in the field of view. Focus the edges of the diaphragm by using the condenser's focusing system. Both the sample and the diaphragm must be focused. Next, center the field diaphragm by using the two centering screws of the condenser. Finally, open the field diaphragm until it remains just outside of the field of view. Aperture diaphragm. Depending on the condenser, this can display different scales showing either the aperture or the magnification of the objectives as an indicative position. The aperture diaphragm should be adjusted in accordance with the numerical aperture of the objective. To obtain a well-balanced image in terms of brightness and contrast, use the same numerical aperture of the objective or, as we recommend, use a little bit less than what it's indicated to get even better results. Adjust this to suit your needs and requirements. Depending on the sample, more brightness or more contrast might be needed. Some basic microscopes do not have an iris diaphragm indicator. In this case, these suggestions should be used as a guideline. To achieve the best illumination, these steps should be repeated each time the objectives are changed. Thanks for watching our videos. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to visit our webpage and other social medias.